How do you fix your Wi-Fi issue? Simple and easy way. Follow the few steps to fix your Wi-Fi issue. Okay guys, you can see over here, it's uh, settings. You have to open the setting page and somewhere it is going to say application. Different phone has a different arrangement. So somewhere you are going to access a list of application. So, so try to access a list of application. So when you access the list of application, somewhere you are going to find setting. So here is uh, some application manager. So check somewhere settings. Okay, so, okay here on the... So I didn't find settings over here. So somewhere try to access a different folder. Somewhere it might find uh, settings. There are these many folders. So here you can see it's all in the list of all application. Somewhere must be settings. It is arranged in alphabetical order. So go to letter yes. Where is yes? It is the settings. When you click on settings, uh, you can get access to the setting page. Try to clear the case and somewhere you'll find our stories. So you can just uh, clear the case, clear the data, so read it before you do it because your application data will be permanently deleted. This includes all the file settings that you have done, database and everything. So before you do it, you can read it. Once you have done it, I can go back to same application and you can uh, access it. You try to access a uh, list of applications okay not in the default application is the application manager again go to settings it's settings and then now you'll just uh, you have already cleared the case and cleared the data now you'll force to stop it so what are you guys gonna do just force to stop it click on ok done with the force to stop now what are you gonna do just restart your device now you're gonna check it out see if this method is working Okay guys, you're gonna open the Wi-Fi settings. You're gonna go to setting and you're gonna open the Wi-Fi network setting. The easy way is on the top you have a Wi-Fi network symbol. Tap it for a long and you're gonna see this space. So select your Wi-Fi network, tap it for a few seconds and you're gonna see this option. Click on manage network setting. Now on the top you can see 192.168.100. So you're gonna note down first three value 192. Dot one six eight dot one. So you may be uh, ten instead of one. Your third value may be hundred or something else. So you're gonna note down first three value. So mine is one nine two one six eight one. Change the DHCP to a statistic. Now you can see you're gonna enter over here IP address one nine two one six eight one. Three values should be as it is. Third value you can change. Third value you can change from 100 to 101, 102, 103, 104. If it is 10, you can change it to 11, 12, 13, 14. If it is uh, something like 18, 19, 20 or 30, you can change it to 31, 32, 33. Just make a little bit changes. Now come down. Your gateway should be 192.168.1.1. So leave it as it is, your gateway. So the gateway should be like, a, you can say first three value, 192.168.1. So your gateway might be like 100.1 or 200, sorry guys, it, should, it might be 200.1 or it might be your gateway might be like 10.1. So the first three value do not change. The last value should be 1 for gateway. 
So never change first three value. Now the DNS, you just have to delete it, and you can see it is given here. You can put it dot it dot it dot it. Now DNS two, you can see, leave it as it is, or you can just put as it is. It dot it dot four dot four. Okay, now everything is fine. Click on save. Now you can see it's connecting. Connected. Now try to browse your internet. Make sure it is working. If it do not work, tap it again for a few seconds. Click on manage network setting. So this time, so you'll just make a slight uh, changes in the IP address. So DNS address. Uh, you just make a little bit changes. So try to put in a DNS address one. So remove DNS address two. It should be empty. In DNS address one, we had eight dot eight dot eight dot eight. So four value all over eight 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 eight. Change it to one nine two one six eight and one dot one. So we'll put the DNS one as one nine two one six eight one dot one, and then click on save. So this will also connect your network. Now try to browse the internet and see if it is working. Okay, so you're gonna open the setting in your phone, and then so somewhere, so different phone has a different arrangement. So somewhere you're gonna check for updates. In my phone, it's a about device, and here it is on the top itself, software update. In some phone, in the setting page itself, in the on the top, you'll find a system update and all those stuff. So somewhere you're gonna find update, or you can search manually on the search in setting. Now click on update now. It will check for updates and install all necessary updates. Sometime updating a system will fix your lots of problem. The last update it has already been installed. So if any update is available, just update it. It will definitely fix lots of your problem. So update your phone and check it out. Okay guys, open the setting inside your phone and you're going to find developer option. You do not find developer option anywhere. You're gonna to go to about device and then you're gonna see the build number. You can tap it for seven times one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You can see developer mode has been enabled. Go back now. Now you're gonna search for developer option. You're gonna find over here developer option. Click on developer option, come down. And somewhere setting related to network. So somewhere you're gonna find uh, it's a use legacy DSCP client. So if you find somewhere uh, it's a DHCP use legacy DHCP client then you're gonna have to enable it so every phone do not have this uh, DHCP legacy client so if you do not see anywhere use uh, DHCP legacy client in your phone say skip it or if you have to uh, that particular option use DHCP legacy client in your phone you just have to enable that DHCP legacy client and restart your phone and check it out Open your Wi-Fi, so it's very simple and easy to open, just click on this Wi-Fi, just tap it for a long and you're going to see this Wi-Fi page or you can just open it through setting. So you're going to click on this more, sorry guys, don't turn it off, click on more on the top and you can see here it is, keep Wi-Fi on during sleep, click on that. Sometimes you want to see the advanced option or some other option. Check in different, uh, different phone has a different arrangement. So check it somewhere uh, over here. You might find something like something more, whatever. Just try to check uh, if it, there is an option. Try to check inside different for, uh, option. Somewhere you're going to find keep Wi-Fi on during sleep. So the, your option should be always. If it is uh, never or only one plugged in, you're just going to change it to 
Just change it to always. So the your setting should be always. So and then after you're gonna check it out. Turn your Wi-Fi off and turn it back again and you're gonna check it out. Whether it's fine or not. Okay guys. So you're gonna find setting in your phone and open the setting. Inside setting, somewhere you're gonna find backup and reset. Different phone has a different arrangement. Even you can search over here at the on the top on the search. You can make a source for backup and reset or you can just make a source for network setting, reset and all this. So in my phone, here I have inside additional setting. So in some phone you'll find it on the top itself. Here I have a backup and reset. So when you open the backup and reset, you're gonna see at the bottom here I have a network setting reset. When I click on that, here you have an option for the network setting reset. This will reset all your network setting including Wi-Fi, mobile data and Bluetooth. So before you continue, different phone has a different arrangement, so read it before you continue. So it will reset all your password and everything. So just below the page at the bottom, here you have a reset setting. Click on that. It can ask you to enter the pattern. Now it can ask you whether you want to reset. So click on OK after reading it. Now you can see network setting has been reset. And when you go to the Wi-Fi, it's gonna ask you for the password again. So re-enter the password, try to connect, and then check it out. Open the keypad. You're gonna type a star has zero zero one one and has. You're gonna see this. Click on more. Go to Wi-Fi. And now you're gonna see this. I scroll down, and you can see here you have an option. You're gonna press here is Wi Fi power save mode. Turn it off. Press turn it off. Done. Now go back and restart your device. After restart, you're gonna check it out. So you're gonna open the settings. Inside settings, somewhere you're gonna find backup and reset. You can see here's a backup and reset. So different phone has a different arrangement. In some phone, you will not find a backup and reset in the setting page. It might be somewhere inside some different option, like additional options and all. Uh, so or you can just manually search for backup and reset in a search on setting on the top so depending upon your phone arrangement different phone has a different arrangement you can see here is a factory data reset so click on that before you continue you're just gonna read it properly because you're gonna wipe out everything from your device your device will be like a newly installed you can just uh, remove your SD cards and all if you have any personal or important information you can move from your device to SD card before doing this because it will wipe out everything that you have in your device. Your device will be like a newly purchased one and you will set up your device from the beginning again. So sometimes some viruses and malware might, cause, might be causing issue you do not know you are not being able to find. So you are and you can just reconfigure all your settings again. You can update your device again. So this is uh, for that it's a factory reset wiping out everything and using uh, like a new system again finally here at the bottom I have a reset so click on reset now so it's gonna ask you again whether you want to erase everything click on erase everything and it will erase everything your phone will restart and you just have to set up your phone once again so do this uh, if you really want to do it so I've told you it will wipe out everything from your device so doing this also helps sometime so do this and check it out.